Hello friends, welcome to Code Basics Coding Tutorial. Today we are going to talk about how you can combine multiple test cases into one single test case using pytest parameters. Here I have a matlib.py file which has a single function which is just calculating a square of a number. So you can see that this is a very straightforward function. Typically when you write unit test for this function, you will end up writing multiple test cases to test that functionality. So you will have your first test case, which will be test underscore l square underscore one. And you will say result is equal to matlib dot calculate square. Let's say you are calculating square of five. So you will assert that result should be 25 because the square of five is 25. And this way, you will write multiple test cases, all right? So nine square is 81. And this is my third unit test. And let's say I'm calculating square of 10, which should be 100, okay? Uh, this is what you do. You supply multiple inputs and you check if those inputs are producing the expected output or not. Okay. When you run this, uh, these test cases here, they're going to work. Okay. It says these three test cases pass. Now the problem with this is that you are essentially writing same code. You can see that you are capturing uh, result into result variable by calling calculate square and you're asserting against the output so I could say there is a repetition or duplication of code here it will be nice if I can somehow combine these three test cases into one and somehow let's say if I have just one test where I can pass test input and capture expected output and here I pass test input and here I can say right so you, you will agree that if we had a way of doing this then it would be nice and then in, in the test input and expected output you can just pass those things your expected values and test inputs as parameters so py test allows you to do that so for this you have to do p import py test and then use this special decorator called py test dot mark dot parameterize so this is a py test decorator that you need to use whenever you want to parameterize your test cases okay and now the first argument to parameterize is a string argument where you will pass the name of the variables uh, or the arguments that you're going to pass to your function so I just copy pasted these two from here the second argument will be the expected output and the taste input and you will be passing these things as a tuple so let's say we had like three test cases okay so I'm going to pass three tuples. So my first test case was five was a test input and 25 was expected output. Second one was 981 and the third one was 1000. Here what this means is in this tuple, this five is test input and this 25 is expected output. So when I'm doing this, uh, let's see, let's first run it and see what happens. Just clear the prompt, run it again. And you can see that it essentially did the same thing. And here you can see the test input output and passed. So this is pretty powerful. Uh, it essentially generated three test cases out of these three sample inputs. You should use this whenever you see similarity between unit test cases and just try to combine them. That way you have less maintenance and whenever you want to add a new test, you just add a new parameter here and you're done. Okay, that was all about PYTest 
parameterization. Thank you for watching.